That is a big Buddha. Oh my god. The red stones, that's the mountain. And the Buddha was red too. Like it's part of the mountain. Yes. Right? It, it is castle in the rock. Of the mountain. And this was 90 years to carve it out from here, right? Yes. And there is an inside to the Buddha? Uh, or is it just like, because he said no. there is a treasure in it. Treasure is a hole. In right? the middle, in, in a the chest. middle of the chest. I see. What, the hill is. what was it filled with? What was the treasure? I don't know. The guy didn't know. Yeah, I was looking for it because I said I don't know. I don't know. That. Red, you think there is, it's, it's, uh, it's a build, like there are something inside of this? No, I don't think so. Or is it just just the tunnels, you know, going around like this? Uh, That's amazing. This is just a security guard. It's a security guard, I see. Guarding the Buddha. Uh, not, not a big deal. So I think no one will hide a treasure. So the treasure is hidden in the Buddha. I see. Can get a little closer. It is big. It is big. Mount Ame is an area of exceptional cultural significance as it is the place where Buddhism first became established on Chinese territory and from where it spread widely through the East. The 71 meter tall giant Buddha of Lashan carved in the 8th century on the hillside of Shizhou Peak overlooking the confluence of three rivers. This is the largest Buddhist sculpture in the world. Look at all those people up there. They're all coming down. Where did they come from, I wonder? They climbed the mountain to get here? That's amazing. Look at the hands, oh my god. The Ling Ling Mountain Buddha. Is that La Sha? No, th th this area, the city called Le Shan. Le Shan. And this mountain is called Ling Ling. Ling Ling. Ling Ling. Ling Ling. Yes. Ling uh, Ling means above the clouds. Ah, okay. The clouds are green. I see. Ling, above, above the clouds. Above the This one have this? I think it does. You just think about it. If you started working on this, you probably didn't finish it. There were probably a third generation of people who finished it. That's an entire generation. Yeah, that's that's serious. Construction on the Lashan Giant Buddha started in 713 led by a Chinese monk named Hai Tong. He hoped that the Buddha would calm the turbulent waters that plagued the shipping vessels traveling down the river. When funding for the project was threatened, he is said to have gouged his own eyes out to show his piety and sincerity. After his death, however, the construction was stopped due to insufficient funding. About 70 years later, a person decided to sponsor the project and the construction was completed by Haitong's disciplines in 803. Apparently, the massive construction resulted in so much stone being removed from the cliff face and deposited into the river below that the currents were indeed altered by the statue, making the water safe for passing ships. 
A sophisticated drainage system was incorporated into the Lashan Giant Buddha when it was built. It is still in working order. It includes drainage pipes carved into various places on the body to carry away the water after the rains so as to reduce weathering. When the giant Buddha was carved, a huge 13-story wooden structure plated in gold was built to shelter it from rain and sunshine. This structure was destroyed and sacked by the Mongols during the wars at the end of the Yuan dynasty. From then on, the stone statue was exposed to the elements. There are 1021 buns in the Buddha's coiled hair. These have been skillfully embedded in the head. The skill is so wonderful that the 1021 buns seem integral to the whole. To the Buddhist? No, it's, it's like you can see very, very far. You can see very, very far. Uh, to the end of the war at the mountain, on the mountain. Oh, okay. Oh, there are the other boats behind us. 